Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. This is the video so many of you have been asking for, a free streaming application loaded with thousands of movies and TV shows, plus well over 350 live TV channels. Some of the best things about it, it does not require you to sign in, you don't need a credit card, they don't even ask you for your email address. This application is 100% free, 100% legit, and 100% legal. Because it's an official streaming service, you shouldn't experience any buffering and you don't need a VPN, although it still works without disabling yours if you do have one. This application has just been updated this past week with a very cool new feature that will not work on your Amazon Fire Stick unless you install it the way I'm going to show you later in this video. So make sure you stick around for that. All right, I have a lot to show you, so if you're ready to learn about this amazing recently updated premium streaming application that you can install on your Amazon Fire Stick or Android TV streaming device, grab your remotes and let's go. Okay, so the name of this app is Plex. This app has been around for quite a long time in different varieties um, over the years, but most recently they've uh, added a whole section for live TV. There's some other features as well that we're gonna get into. So here at the home page of the Plex app, there's a place where you can go into the TV guide. We're gonna get to that in a minute. Um, they just give you a good selection of the content that they have available on the app here on the home section. But the real meat and potatoes of this app is going to be found on this menu in different sections. So let's go into the live TV section first. And as you can see here, we have, I mean, I, I've counted these as over 350 channels. Uh, and they're all broken down into categories. So you don't have to scroll down through the whole thing if you don't want to. But you can, let's go up to the top. We can go into recommended. And then you have some local channels where you'll see a lot of the local news and things that are available depending on what region you're in. Move over to entertainment. Check out all the different channels in here. If you see something you like, you just go ahead and click on it. It'll play right away. You got movies, reality shows, just a whole bunch in different sections. You got news and opinion. Lots of different live channels in this category. Move over to kids and family. Lots of stuff for the kids here. Many great channels with a fully functioning electronic programming guide or EPG here. Move over to sports. Lots of different sports content here for you to watch. And again, just click on them and they go. High quality HD, it's a comedy section, music videos, all different genres. Bunch of Spanish channels as well, which is great. I have a pretty large following in the Spanish community. In fact, I have a Spanish channel if you didn't uh, know about that. It's uh, Bob Tech Maestro. Put a link in the description for my Spanish channel in case you have some Spanish speaking friends. Whole bunch of Spanish stuff on this app, which is really nice. So backing over to now we have a whole section of on demand movies and TV shows for you to watch. And as you can see here, there's an awful lot of stuff here. Um, binge worthy shows. These are all categorized. You have your Love Hub, Plex Picks, Black Stories, Leaving Soon. These are a bunch of movies that are going to be leaving Plex soon, so it gives you a chance to watch that stuff before it's gone. And on the other side of that coin, you have the recently added stuff, the things that they've just added to Plex here to check out. We have below that, we have Crime Time, a lot of crime and mystery, um, drama type uh, TV shows and movies. Dojo, a lot of fighting, um, kung fu, karate type movies and action like that. Um, and then the most popular section that people watch most often, 
And they have a lot more different categories here, so it makes it really easy for you to find something to watch. And they do have a ton, like I said, thousands and thousands of movies and TV shows on demand. The next thing I want to show you is what they've added recently. They have this new section called Discover. And what this does is it takes all the other streaming services that you have. You can go in here and you can tell it which streaming apps that you have and just select them. And then you go back out. And then from there, you can just pick one of the streaming apps and you can just, for example, go into Prime Video and it will show you in a slightly different way than it shows you on the Prime Video app itself. So, so here exclusively on Amazon, we have trending on Amazon Prime, recently released, fan favorites, and so on. So it's a whole different way without ever having to leave the Plex app. Now, if you're listening earlier, I said that this new feature is not working with Amazon Fire Sticks anymore. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago, Amazon came up with an update that stopped what they call deep linking, which means um, from within an app, you can't open up another app. So let's say, for example, we want to watch something on Netflix. We'll go into the Netflix section and we'll find anything. doesn't really matter. And if you click on it here, it says right there, linking directly to other apps is currently unavailable. This is unfortunate because Amazon's really losing out on this. Um, however, thanks to Tech Doctor UK, um, big shout out to him. He showed me this where we can install this a different way. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to come back and this function will work. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right. So there are a couple of ways to install Plex TV on your Amazon Fire Stick. If you don't care about those extra features, like the deep linking, it's very easy. You can just go to the magnifying glass, go down to search, and then just start searching for Plex and you'll see it pop up pretty quickly. You can click on that and then you can just go ahead and click on it to install it. However, if you do want those features, um, like the deep linking and you know the watch list and some other features, you will need to use the Android version of Plex uh, because this one will allow you to do those features like deep linking and, you know, with which is the ability to open, um, you know, the other streaming apps from within Plex. So to install the version that you have all of those features to your exposal, you can go ahead and move over to that gear. It's just a setting that we need to set in here. Go down to My Fire TV. Go down to Developer Options. Now, if you don't have Developer Options, don't worry, that could be because you just recently updated your Fire Stick or you have a brand new Fire Stick and the developer options isn't there. I've made a video recently that will show you how to get that back. I'll put a link in the description below. So let's go ahead and assume that you have this developer options available. Click on that, go down to install unknown apps and move down to downloader. If you don't see downloader on this list, you may not have downloader on your fire stick and if you don't have it don't worry it's free you can download it just by searching for downloader the same way we searched for plex earlier so make sure that this is set to on if it says off like this go ahead and toggle that back to on and then you can go ahead and hit the home button now let's open up the downloader app Up here where it says enter a URL or search term, we're going to be putting in the short code for the cordcuttersli.com webpage, which is 89364. Go down and click go. That's going to redirect you to cordcuttersli.com. This is nice because it lets you know that you're going there before you go there, so you make sure you didn't mistype. When you get there, you're going to want to hit the hamburger button, which is the button on the remote that has the three lines on it right there. Click on that and click on it again, because that will set it to full screen and it'll make it a little easier for us to navigate around. Let's move over to that menu. Again, the hamburger menu is how you get to the tutorial section. Let's go ahead and click on tutorials. You can click on the ads if you want to. I chose not to. Um, here on the tutorials page, I am adding stuff all the time. I do invite you to have a look around, but what we're looking for now is the new streaming app on the list called Plex TV. Again, it's with the deep linking capability. So click on that. That's going to redirect you to the tutorial page. Again, it's just recently updated. I believe February 2nd of this year, just last week. 
And so you can scroll down, you can see the instructions. Towards the bottom of the page, you will see this here button, this blue download button, click on that. It's gonna download and then it's gonna ask you to install it. So you go down, click install. It's gonna be pretty quick. When that finishes, click done. Don't click open just yet. And then move over to delete and then delete again. This removes that APK installation file because we no longer need it taking up space on our Fire Stick. So now let's click home. So Plex now is installed. However, you don't see it here on the list anywhere. So the easiest way to get this on the list, I'll show you right now. Go ahead and hold that home button in for a moment and then move over to apps. The last app installed is always gonna be on the bottom of the list. So if you move to the left, you will see Plex right there. Tap that hamburger button once more and then move down to move to front and click on that. And there you have it. So let's go ahead and click home. And as you can see now, Plex is front and center on your favorites bar, right where you'd like it. Let's go ahead and open it up. So as I was saying earlier, you don't need an account here. It says right here, it says no risk, all reward, get instant anywhere access to thousands of free movies and shows, live TV, and your own media. For those of you who are new to Plex, you can also set up some stuff on your home network and access it here as well. But uh, that's, a, that's a video for another time. You can click skip sign up here if you want to. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in here because the deep linking function is one that you will need an account for. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in and be right back. A few moments later. Okay, so now, as I said, um, when you log in, you have a couple of different features. You have this watch list, which will keep track of things for you if you want to. This is unavailable if you don't log in. Again, logging in is completely voluntary. You don't need to, uh, but it is a free account if you choose to use it. But here is where I was talking about earlier with the Discover section. I've already set up these apps from my selected services in my Plex account. So now if we want to go ahead and find one of these and have it automatically open, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to Netflix, for example, and we'll just find something to watch on here. We'll just pick something at random. And there you go. It brings you right into... Netflix and it will play the content. No need to leave the app and go anywhere else. So that's it. That's a pretty good close look at Plex TV, a very cool streaming application that has thousands and thousands of free movies and TV shows on demand and over 350 live channels. Go ahead and install it. Let me know what you think about it. Put some comments down below. Um, let me know if you like it or if you hate it. If you did like anything that you saw here on Cord Cutters All I Hear today, please click that like button. Click the subscribe button also and share all my videos with your friends. That helps a great deal in getting my videos to be seen by more people. Thanks for watching.